तो हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल होप यू आर डूइंग एक्सट्रीमली वेल एंड दिस इज योर वेरी ओन मास्क कोड दिस साइड सो वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो एंड वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द प्रॉब्लम स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ अ नंबर स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ अ नंबर द प्रॉब्लम इज एक्चुअली वेरी इजी द प्रॉब्लम सेज दैट यू हैव अ नंबर यू हैव एन इंटीजर सपोज द इंटीजर इज 5 एंड यू हैव टू रिटर्न इट्स स्क्वायर रूट यू हैव टू रिटर्न इट्स स्क्वायर रूट हाउ विल यू रिटर्न द स्क्वायर रूट सो वी नो दैट स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ 9 इज इक्वल टू 3 Square root of four is equal to two. Square root of uh, let's say sixteen is equal to four, right? But we know that five is not a complete square. Five is not a square number. So what will be its square? So if I try to write down the square, so square of one, one square is equal to one. Two square is equal to four. Three square is equal to nine, right? Now I see that this number is actually greater than five. Nine is actually greater than five, and Okay, two square is equals to four is actually smaller than this number. The question says whenever there is not a perfect square, we have to return the floor value of the square. Floor value of the square. That means there must be a uh, decimal number between two and three. That is two point something, which will be squaring up to five, right? What is the floor value of two point something? Like like say two point six y. right it will its floor value will be 2 so we have to return 2 as our answer i hope you are clear with it i hope you are clear with it right now how to solve how to solve first thing is i can use the square root library use sqrt function from uh, c++ stl right second thing is so what is the second thing i can just iterate so i will iterate from i equals to 1 up till let's say uh, i star i is less than n right is less than equals to n right so if at any point of time that this is the condition and i will just move up till n by 2 obviously right now what will happen uh, whenever if you will see if i star i is less is equals to equals to n that means it is a perfect square you can return i but if i star i is uh, let's say is greater than n that means n minus 1 was correct and you can return i minus 1 otherwise you need to continue in the for loop right but this is actually not running in linear time it is running in linear time complexity o of n approximately i want an optimal solution The SQL function, the SQL T function, also use this approach, and this runs in O of log n, right? Let us define what is that approach. The approach is very simple. For given number n, I know what are the potential answer. The potential answer can vary from zero up till now. Let us see up till up till how much. For example, I have a number one. I have a number one. So you can see you can see it is a perfect square. One square is one. So what is the square root? The square root is also one, right? So if you see, it actually goes from zero to n plus one by two because one plus one gives me two, two by two gives me one. So what is the highest value? It can be n plus one by two. Assign low to it, assign high to it, and apply binary search. Apply binary search. Now because we need a floor value, I will say my current answer is equals to zero. And now what will I do? I will just run a loop. So while my low is less than equals to high what will i do i will first calculate the mid which is equals to low plus high minus low by 2 right and now what will i do i will say that if mid multiplied by mid is equals to equals to n that means i got the perfect square value return mid in this case right otherwise if it is greater than n if it is greater than n that uh, that means that i am i actually want a value here and i am lying like, uh, lying something here so i want to reduce my high i want to reduce my high this will automatically reduce my mid so i will say high equals to mid minus 1 here it is mid right mid star mid sorry in the else case that is it is not equals to it is not greater so in that case what will you do you will say low equals to mid plus 1 but there is a change you can see Now, because we need a floor value, 
floor value will also give us something like this only floor value will give something like this or something like this that it is less than so you can say answer is also equals to mid just reassign your answer at last of the loop when the loop breaks you can just return your answer let, let me break, yeah return answer and that's all right Okay, so it is running in log n time and I don't think that there is any need to explain how it is running because at each step the subset of the problems is getting halved. So it is running in log n and the recurrence relation is something like this t of n equals to t of 1 plus t of n by 2. Right, this solves up to log n time. Let us try to write the code for it. So here is the coding section but before beginning with the code it's my sincere request to you to please subscribe to the channel and hit the like button as much as possible. Now let us start. So first I will make long long int low which is equals to 0, high which is equals to n plus 1 by 2. Right and I will assign a mid here as well. Now I will save my long long int answer equals to 0 currently and now while my low is less than equals to high what will i have to do i will say mid equals to low plus high minus low by two and now three conditions if it star mid equals to equals to n return mid if mid star mid that is mid multiplied by mid is greater than n in that case high needs to be lowered down in the else case it will be else if here it will work either way else if what will you do you low equals to mid plus one and answer equals to it right at the last of the while loop return the answer return answer right let us try to compile and run it hope it will work fine i will not give any error working fine for the sample test case let us see for the submit test case as well it will run i guess and it is running fine so thank you for watching hope you like the video and make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel thank you have a nice day